So moving forward to the Ecologistics Initiative, um, the Ecologistics Initiative is uh, the counterpart of uh, the um, Ecomobility eco Initiative. Um, and uh, the reason why we decided to also create a new initiative is that uh, in many cities, uh, there is a transport uh, policy for passenger transport, but not uh, for um, goods, for instance. And there has been um, an, uh, uh, an area that where cities have, mm, that has been a bit uh, uh, overlooked. Uh, luckily or unluckily, <laughs> um, COVID has highlighted the importance of freight uh, and freight has uh, really, um, uh, and the global freight demand is estimated to triple between 2015 and 2050. And um, the ability to move uh, goods efficiently has become really the lifeblood uh, of uh, the economic development, particularly in cities uh, with uh, uh, which can generate over 80% of global GDP and uh, an estimated 75% of global emissions. And so as the cities are continuing to grow at an, un and at an unprecedented uh, rate, um, it's important for us to ensure that uh, the freight movement uh, challenges are, are taken into consideration and also curbed as much as possible. For instance, congestion, air pollution, traffic accidents, and, and, uh, uh, and a host of other um, negative impacts. Uh, and, um, and to be able to do so and to make sure that uh, not, so, not only we um, mitigate the adverse impact, uh, but also meet the Paris climate goals, we have created a set of principles. Um, uh, to guide uh, cities and their stakeholders, for instance, the private companies or other um, um, academia, uh, to also um, to have a common vision on how to manage and uh, um, and chart the way for uh, more sustainable um, logistics. For more sustainable logistics, we have also two different projects. Um, active projects at the moment. One is Iki, uh, the ecologistic project, which is funded by the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, uh, Nature, Conservation and Nuclear Safety. And it's active in three different countries, Argentina, Colombia and India. And we have uh, per each country, three different cities, so nine cities in total. And um, the ecologistics approach is about setting a baseline, um, about fostering change through capacity building, uh, demonstration projects, uh, conceptualization and implementation, and then uh, uh, shaping a more sustainable future. Uh, for instance, uh, by providing different uh, like project scenarios uh, in urban freight, or, uh, and also supporting cities uh, in uh, um, crafting their low carbon action plan for urban freight and um, uh, providing also enabling framework um, by um, crafting the national ecologistics uh, policy recommendations. And of course, the project uh, um, it's, has the ambition of scaling up and therefore uh, we, uh, the project also provides a platform to um, reach out to other cities uh, and also to other donors and uh, other par uh, partners uh, and uh, um, much wider audience. Then the other project is the Ecologists Community. We, were, we are very excited to have uh, Taiyuan as a partner uh, in this project. And uh, Taiyuan, in fact, is the chair of uh, the Ecologists Community, which is the first um, uh, city network globally committed to sustainable urban freight. This community um, leads uh, sustainable urban freight development uh, in uh, uh, participating cities and uh, drive global action in international stage through collaborative exchange and action plans and stakeholders engagement. So some of the benefits uh, um, uh, for these cities are uh, in the community are really shared knowledge, resource and uh, shared resources and um, 
and also they have an opportunity to um, raise awareness uh, and participate uh, um, to in all global events and uh, and exchange good practices. Um, it is incredibly important for um, leading cities or more ambitious cities uh, to have an opportunity to exchange uh, um, the, about uh, their challenges, uh, but also uh, exchange uh, their, their approaches and solutions with like-minded cities uh, so that they can uh, drive their ambitions. Uh, and that's why it's so important for us to have this community. Um, the ecologists community approach um, in, uh, to support cities is uh, composed of uh, five different steps. The first step is assess the ecologistic situation and establish the baseline. Second is uh, engage multi-stakeholders and capacity building. The third point is uh, uh, to initiate uh, innovative demonstration projects as tangible actions uh, for real change. Um, fourth point is a shape long-term planning and action plan. And uh, the fifth step is to disseminate and share these uh, results uh, with other like-minded cities or other um, external audience. One of the achievements of uh, last year, a very challenging year uh, during COVID, has been uh, the, um, uh, the Taiyuan and the local coordinator on site. Uh, they have been working tirelessly to uh, create a demonstration project uh, so that uh, we could have like a, uh, a strong foundation uh, this year to consolidate, uh, to um, have, to show the ambition of the city of Taiyuan um, to other cities internationally. And um, these uh, five different demonstration projects are incredibly important uh, either in Taiyuan or in other cities as well, because uh, they uh, help cities to have a proof of concept uh, in a safe environment uh, and, uh, uh, and show that ambition is, can become also, can be implemented and uh, uh, show how we can then uh, um, explore replicability and uh, uh, or uh, how to scale it up. The opportunities for cities um, for in our within our program, um, we have the ecologist principle as I shared, and we are looking at the moment for good practices uh, um, related to different principles. And we would like to hear from cities about the different actions that they are taking um, in alignment with this, uh, for instance, principles. And then uh, they can join the ecologistics community or the ecologistics alliance, uh, the Comobility alliance, uh, based on uh, their. Um, interest and uh, their current plans and visions for their cities. And uh, they can also host the Ecomobility Festival. Um, they can learn about uh, our tools and methodologies, for instance, the Ecologist Ecomobility uh, Shift Plus assessment tool or the Ecologistics tool um, to calculate the GAG emissions uh, for urban freight transport. And uh, they can also contact us for tailored program or engage us uh, uh, in our um, uh, workshops and conferences. So um, the 2020 has been quite an incredible year, but uh, in so many ways, uh, both in challenges and in opportunities. Uh, the, the major challenge was, of course, that uh, uh, creating a community or, um, or um, uh, creating a sense of community or, uh, with, it's very, very hard when we cannot meet each other and, uh, and um, has been also an opportunity because uh, um, we familiarize with the different type of uh, um, virtual tools uh, to work uh, with city also remotely. And uh, at the same time, uh, it has been also quite um, refreshing to a certain extent to be able to participate in different virtual events. And so, um, and uh, also uh, having a common challenge or a common crisis has helped us to strengthen partnerships uh, and at the same time uh, um, have time also to reflect on uh, our work and also on how to best serve this, the, the, um, this, uh, the cities, our equally member cities uh, um, and project cities uh, um, also when um, 
the traveling is uh, less um, safe. So um, while there is no silver bullet, I, it, we have uh, uh, brainstorm with partners and also brainstorm internally with the ECLA, within ICLEI. And uh, it feels that uh, sometimes it's uh, also that uh, it feels that uh, while I hope and uh, I wish that, uh, and I'm craving for like a um, in-person event or some workshops uh, that uh, this can be then uh, also complemented by um, also virtual um, virtual uh, events and uh, or more multimedia type of uh, um, communication tools uh, so that uh, we can uh, complement, we, we can reduce traveling to a certain business travels uh, to a certain extent, but at, at the same time, uh, having also this uh, um, um, building the relation while we are, um, while we are uh, throughout the year and not only at uh, specific events. So, so that uh, it's uh, one of the um, lessons learned for us for 2020. And um, moving forward for like 2021, um, we are, a lot of events have been like uh, moving from 2020 to 2021. So we have quite a busy agenda, just to name the events that will happen in, uh, within ICLE, there will be the ICLE World Congress in April. There is also a Daring City Conference and then, uh, there, and then uh, the Sustainable Mobility Team is planning to have a strong role at uh, COP26, uh, should, uh, should it happen in their usual format, meaning with also civil society involved and at the same time, uh, uh, at the same magnitude as uh, the other COP uh, uh, conferences before.